everyone. I am coming to you from the Oregon coast and I wanted to go ahead and make this video um, talking about our consciousness and then the ego. Um, I think that this is an important topic and when it comes to CPS survivors, um, it's something that we have to be able to um, understand, overstand, and understand in order to continue to grow and to rise above our current situation so we can be greater than what it is that we see right now in our external world. So stay tuned and I will be back for more on this topic. Thank you. Alright, so today um, someone left a comment on one of my videos. Um, it was actually my recipe videos and what I did was um, I looked at the comment and right away I was like, okay, where is this coming from and how am I going to respond to it instead of reacting or allowing kind of my old self to come in and, you know, different thoughts and emotions to rise up and to have more of a reaction instead. It wasn't anything terrible, but um, there's several ways that I could respond or react to um, someone leaving a comment um, like this. And this goes for anything in our lives. We have choices to make every moment of every day. And so what I did was I started to look inside and something that came up was um, my value. And it brought me to um, the third Narnia about um, Lucy when she doubted her value. And I have had a lifetime, this time around 41 years, of doubting my value. And it isn't until really this last, um, couple of months that this has come to my awareness that I need to focus more on loving myself and valuing myself and just knowing that I am worthy to experience the abundance that is here for each of us. So anyways, the comment basically said, how is this helping with anything? Um, and it was from another CPS um, advocate. Uh, for parents and basically I decided to just respond with uh, CPS survivors got to eat too and um, that was the basis of it and then you know all of us need to be focusing on our health to help us to raise our vibrations to be able to function and have the energy to do those things that we're wanting to do and also when we are healthier what I have found is that I am better able to connect with source now some people say God or the Creator or the universe and that is okay but sometimes our egos get in the way and if someone does not believe like us then they reject us or they will um, attack our character or just kind of you know the rejection thing is pretty big and that hits on the value part is that if we are to see our own value then when other people respond or react in a way that um, kind of cuts at the heart of us we have to be able to separate from what others are doing and saying and then another step is to go within and go where is this coming from why is this reflection being mirrored back to me and so I had a lot of things just um, coming up and I was so grateful that I was at this point to where I I stopped and I decided to take a deep breath and count to five and breathe in love and hold it at the top and then release five seconds. And I did this several times because as I'm learning from Dr. Joe Dispenza, 
every thought and every emotion has um, some type of chemical reaction in our body. It causes a release of chemicals which affects our whole bodies and our minds. And so just stopping and breathing and then focusing on the heart and on divine love will stop old habits and old wiring in our brain, old neurons from firing, and you will actually create a new pattern and a new way of being. Um, and that is what I've been working on is just being someone that I want to be changing my personality when things happen in our lives um, different thoughts and emotions are kind of like a cycle and because of these this wiring in our brain it can create a mood if we continue to think and feel and feel and think um, over and over again on the same thoughts and then that mood over time can become a temperament if you keep thinking and feeling in a certain way and then if you still continue then that temp temperament can become a personality so that's like when you're stuck in a way of thinking in survival mode this is all about being in survival mode the lower vibrations that keep us stuck and keep us in this cycle and um, that personality actually becomes who we are and ever like people around us will see us as this you know type of personality and it's not actually who we are because our souls are our divine being is who we are and um, you know our conscience is something that we as we wake up we learn more and more about um, I don't want to get off topic but um, there's so much more and I'm learning that I don't really know anything and I keep having to let go of belief systems and stuff but as I adopt and adapt new information as I obtain it and I apply it to my life then I have been having new experiences from making these choices day in and day out and it is helping me to break the habit of being myself that's how Dr. Joe Dispenza says it so I'm actually creating a new personality as this person right here that I am living so that I can be more connected with source energy and I can be more of who I actually am my soul which is perfect so anyways um, I really had to go within and see what was going on why was this being reflected back to me um, about who and what I'm doing and is there something else I'm supposed to be doing in this CPS movement and you know when I first started out I was just gonna do what everyone else did and when I was in my master's program for my counseling degree um, I really was analytical and I um, I wanted to research everything and then when CPS attacked my family in 2014 um, I researched a ton on CPS and I studied the Constitution and and then since then I've studied different things about um, the common law even further and affidavits and and you know just really trying to learn what is going on as I was going down these rabbit holes of this modern day form of human trafficking um, and I had to step back and I had to go okay how am I going to go about this and what is going to serve me and others and I started to see that my calling is very different sorry for the um, pop-up that came if it's gonna come on I'm not sure if it's gonna come onto the camera when I'm doing this but if it showed up sorry for that I need to find out how to turn that off um, but anyways my calling and your calling is unique to ourselves and we have to respect and honor what it is that we are called to do and in raising my consciousness my awareness I'm seeing more and more how this world is 
all about energy, frequencies and vibrations, all of existence is, source energy is, each one of us who is a part of source energy. We are a wave of source energy that we must be responsible for our, our choices and what we are creating in this world because we are creators and co-creators and everything that's going on around us has to do with the creations that we are involved in. And because we're co-creators, there's a different part to this. Every time we go within and begin to heal ourselves, we are able to create and cause a butterfly effect to go out and it touches everyone and everything in existence. And so it's exciting to be raising up our vibrations and to be changing and to be also non-judgmental of others and where they are because um you know this isn't about comparing ourselves to others or um shooting anyone down it's really about lifting one another up and that was another part of the comment that i left is that you know each one of us needs to be able to um you know, do what it is our part in this and to uplift one another. And I thanked him for all that he has been doing because he has done a huge amount. And I'm grateful for, you know, the passion and the talents and gifts that each person has to offer because they're all very, very important. And so the piece that I am playing and my role in this is to um, help others to awaken to their inner power, to take back um, any power that they've outsourced and to remember who they are, remember who you are as a divine being of light and love. And it's not the type of love that this world, you know, gives and that we've um, experienced in our unconsciousness it's not even to a point where i can completely explain it because i am currently on a journey of connecting more and more with source and so right now um all i can say is the love helps us to feel connected to everything and everyone else but i have heard from so many people who have had deep experiences and so I am ready whenever it is that time that I will be experiencing more and more of that love and then being able to come on and share that and this is just all part of being greater than my current circumstances rising above all that um, I'm seeing in this world that I don't like and rising above um, who I have been and who I am wanting to be. Um, I want just high vibrations. I want to value myself and I want to value others. And so as I see other people that may not um, see the value in what I do or agree with it, um, I am able to now step back and say, okay, let's look at ourselves and let's really start working on pouring more divine love and light into myself and um, take more time to meditate. Um, and I have been doing some yoga lately and it is amazing at how far I have come. And, and a message that I got this last week when doing um, a yin yoga class was that I am right where I'm supposed to be. And actually I keep hearing that from messages all over the place. Um, but besides that is to accept where I currently am. And though I saw how far away it is from where I want to be, right? I want to be so much further ahead. We, as humans, want so much um, right now. And that's okay. I mean, it's good to want things right now. But it's also important to accept where we are and to be able to see the growth that we are um, and have accomplished in our lives. We are succeeding and we are doing so much as we 
place our focus on our open hearts and we raise our vibrations and we become more and more aware of our thoughts and feelings that are creating our realities. And so and one of the positions was a double shoelace and my hips have always been really tight and I looked up information about hips and you know being tight and whatnot and it said that we hold a lot of emotions in our hips and so as I started to see my hips um, and different joints and muscles relaxing and I was breathing through it and some different emotions were coming up and I was able to release those I really felt so much more connected to everything and I just felt really good about where I am right now and it just it sat with me for a while it's accepting where I am but also just rewarding myself for how far I've come and um, there's so much more ahead so I keep looking because I have just a couple minutes left on my video and I don't want to um, run too short but the last thing I want to bring up is I've been doing another breathing exercise by Dr. Joe Dispenza and also my friend who did the Reiki with me and um, just working on the breathing techniques of breathing in for five holding breathing in love and focusing on the heart during that time and then breathing out doing that for 20 minutes um, in the morning and in the evening um, you know that is my goal to do every day just breathing in love and or um, actually I do one or the other and then gratitude is the other one breathing in gratitude and then throughout the day and um, just using my imagination and thinking about those things that I want and just um, seeing that they've already happened and playing them out and having my body experience the emotions that come from already having what I want. Um, but then Dr. Joe Dispenza's breathing technique is to actually squeeze the perineum and then the it's basically moving energy through the chakras and you squeeze um, the lower chakras um, so you have the um, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus. And then you envision that energy as you tighten those muscles, rising up, up the chakra, through the back, all the way up to the open heart, and then opening up the throat chakra into the pineal gland and expanding and activating the crystalline structures that we have within the pineal gland, and then up to the crown chakra and holding it for as long as I can and squeezing just a little bit longer um, the lower three chakras and then releasing and experiencing and feeling you know just the release and um, I don't know I just I wanted to share this I will go into it more later I'm running out of time but that's what I've been doing and I have noticed a bunch so I will be back for an update later on I thank you for joining me on this and I hope that this is helpful for you. Namaste to you.